was a that there was no interference there's a terrible story in Massachusetts where a middle school teacher who was Jewish, 25 years old, was harassed, constantly harassed by a 12-year-old student uh, who made references to Hitler, drew certain pictures of Hill of Hitler in the gas chambers. Um, they tried to resolve the situation, have the boy suspended, but he persisted, and he would call him slurs in the hallway. Um, eventually, uh, the teacher resigned. <coughs> um, it's interesting that a 25-year-old teacher would be considered harassed. It would hurt him that a 12-year-old kid would, do, would be doing this. But you never know today's day and age. It can get a little older, can get angry, have a weapon. And I think it's really terrible. Obviously, a 12-year-old kid harassing a teacher, um, it had to have come from somewhere. It probably came from the boy's home. Uh, deep anti-Semitism still lies prevalent in most of the world. Ron DeSantis got into a war of words with Gavin Newsom, his fellow governor in California. Uh, DeSantis told him to stop uh, making fun of him and to go contend with Joe Biden for the primary for president in 2024. Meanwhile, Gavin Newsom said DeSantis is taking his eye off the prize. He should be focusing his energy, not insulting Newsom, where the Republican governor in Florida have very different views, has very different views than the governor in California. I uh, should be focusing on Donald Trump and trying to beat him in the Republican primary. Um, I think he's right, Gavin Newsom. Um, I think they're both right, actually. <laughs> Gavin Newsom is right. DeSantis should be focusing on Trump. Forget about Newsom. That's his biggest opponent. Opponent, And I think someone should challenge Joe Biden uh, for the Democratic nomination in 2024. It seems crazy that a person is so maligned in the media, there's no one challenging him in 2024. Someone has to jump in. There are talks of Bam Adebayo, the star center from the Heat, potentially going in a trade to the Portland Trailblazers. <clears throat> for years, they've looked for help for Damian Lillard, their star guard, who has pledged his allegiance to Portland, refuses to leave, even in an age where superstars are leaving the greener pastures, or at least two teams with a, a better chance of winning a championship. Lillard stays in Portland. People think that if Lillard went to a different team, he would surely catapult them to be a championship contender. I'm not so sure about this. Damian Lillard is one of those players like James Harden, like Russell Westbrook, to be successful. He needs to be the star of the team. He needs to have the ball in his hand all the time. And by merely going to a team of superstars, he'll either ruin the team or he won't be of significant help to the team. So I think he's pretty much reached his ceiling in Portland. I don't see him leading any team to a championship. There's a big advertising convention going on in the French Riviera right now. Um, a lot of the big players in the tech market are there, um, all, all promoting their artificial intelligence capades, what they're going to invest in artificial intelligence. The stock market has seen a tremendous boom. The video stock hit yesterday $423 a share, which is enormous. It's highest ever by far. Um, I, and some people are projecting the AI bubble that people are eventually going to sour on AI. You know, I'm a little actually worried about artificial intelligence. Yes, there's definitely advantages to artificial intelligence. It could bring more entertainment. But I've seen some of these videos, especially on TikTok, where basically they're faking, making fake videos, what Elon Musk said or, you know, Bill Gates is saying. It really looks like the person is speaking and is saying these things. You can frame any person to his appearance and his voice uh, to say things or do things that he didn't do or say. There's an interesting story of a mega yacht that was abandoned in Antigua and Barbados, a country in the Caribbean, um, where apparently the yacht uh, was worth around $110 million, um, but it was abandoned there, and some said it belonged to a Russian oligarch uh, who was sanctioned by the United States, and he denies it. It's been sitting there for a long time, and the maintenance fees are crazy. It's hundred thousand dollars a month to maintenance it. Plus, there was two point one million dollars of unpaid fees for the crew. Uh, so eventually, they sold it yesterday for sixty-seven million dollars. Antigua and Barbados profited nicely. Uh, it shows really the crazy uh, idea of owning a yacht or a mega yacht. The maintenance for it is crazy. How often do you really enjoy a mega yacht? It's not worth buying a mega yacht if you want to use a yacht. Rent it out.